<laughs> it's time to edit. Oh, I'm going to cut this section out. Hello? Cut this section out. We're we doing a podcast. Cut this section. Hey, okay. What I got hell? some results over here. Oh, yeah, and I don't even have that. Sick. God. You don't have your own knife. Yeah, you think. We got you the think. Christmas you happening. Think. We got the green and the red results. Yeah. Result time. Result. You got the you got the red. I got the green. Okay. That's right. Podcast. Podcast alert. And uh oh man. It's been three weeks, so you guys have had time to recover from the last one. And we uh, so, actually have time to live a normal life. You know what? Talk about normal. Did you? <laughs> dude, 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 dude. you know, one day if we're in a grocery store with like some old people, I'm gonna be like, hey Lee, do you have a knife? I need to cut the string off my t-shirt or something. Sure, here you go. <laughs> Throw it up in the air. I'll get it. <laughs> Holy cannolis. Oh my god. There you go. Oh, I'll, I'll be like, do you yes, have something sir. like this? Not like that. Something, something a little bit norm, normal size. I'm not trying to like chop down the tree, you know. <laughs> LTK result and the Fenris. Oh my goodness! Jeez. Or whatever it is, Fenris, isn't it? Okay, something like that. Yeah, it's gonna, you're gonna Woo. break your wrist doing that one. Uh, the Fenris, yeah, Fenris. It's people. Is that, a, is, that, is that a front flipper on that thing? Oh, yeah. Well, you can do that, right? You know how to do that. Oh, go ahead. I don't want to demonstrate it or I'll be showing off. So, uh... yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't stupid enough to try and front flip it. <laughs> I may be stupid, but I'm not dumb. Oh, so, yeah, man. there you go. And for uh, you little girls out there, um, I'm sure we got some. Oh, we got something pink for you. Pink, pink. yeah. From my two sun knives. Yeah, but for the men who love purple, yikes. That's the 2024 man for you. Okay, oh, so wow. there is for the pink. And oh, by the way, this is nine and a quarter inches overall length. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Titanium, uh, crispy donut community, or dessert warrior, or whatever the hell, right? But my buddy Tony up in the, 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 the you know, by the Jacksonville, um, he actually is working on the Jacksonville Jaguar Stadium, or was, but yeah, that he he was showing that off on his Instagram, and I go shit. I wonder if White Mountain Knives has got them in stock. And I went on there, and yes, they did. And it was, yes, about $89 and used nice. LTK. So it's like 80 bucks after nice. the code. But I think it's just 14C or something like that on here. It's not, yeah. yeah. But, Whatever. But it's titanium. Titanium clip. Titanium backspacer. Ceramic bearings. What's the pink uh, stuff? G10. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. You need to put out the Leong Ma or the Eutectic dessert. Uh, don't call it dessert. Blade HQ won't be happy about that. But you can call it whatever. You can even contact Crispy Donut and go, hey, how about let's do a Crispy Donut, uh, you know, you text it Trinity or a uh, Crispy yeah. Donut E D E F D or something like that. That's right. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Like the E F D right there. Oh, are you gonna show or not? I'm showing. Okay. I'm showing. Okay. I'm showing. Yeah. So Lee here went. And got these scales made by Sharp Dress Design. And man, so I just got them today. 
uh, and I only had time to like put one one set of scales on. But man, does this look sharp! Holy moly! And you know, especially with the black hardware and black blade, that yeah. really sets that lava flow. Mm. It really does. Uh, yep. Fat carbon off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, that would look good with the Arctic Storm yeah. or um, the, oh, shit. No, I can't. The black. Yeah, it, that was like black camo. That was like black camo. Uh, uh, the, the all black one was like black camo, right? No, it's called something else. Uh, Is it Black I, Dune? Black Dune? Dune. Dune. Black yeah, Dunes. Black yeah, Dune. Black Dunes. Why do you got to be black, man? Ah, because it's cool. <laughs> oh, thank you for getting these made, Lee. Oh. There's our winner. Kelly okay. O'Neill? I guess I stepped on you. What are you going to thank me and praise me even more? Go ahead. I, I hate to cut that off. Oh. You know, that was, uh, that was, that I was going to keep going for the whole podcast, but since you stopped me, I, I guess I, uh, I have to keep going. Oh. Uh, uh, I mean, you're going to... You're gonna carry some in stock, or you're just gonna say, "Hey, he's got the, he's got it all figured out. He's got the jig. He's got the materials. Uh, Go for it. Contact we him." We what? haven't really figured it out because we haven't had a call. I, uh, I've been so busy with the new website, and so um, I definitely need to speak to this guy and see what he wants to do. I know he's busy as all hell too. Oh so, yeah. And these scales are not cheap, so uh, no, no, they're they not. But they are premium. You yeah, know? I mean, and neither are these. I mean, this is just an eighty-nine dollar Civiti right. Vision FG, but right. these are the party camo or party flow camo scales, and these were one hundred and fifty bucks from the right. other guy. Okay. Right. But he couldn't do inset stuff because he's just making these by hand. He doesn't have the machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sharp dress knives, they got the machine. They can do all the augering out and all the right. little bumps and things that they need to do, yeah. which makes it more expensive. Uh, yeah. But, okay. sure. um, but yeah. you can contact him if you have an EFD already or if you don't have an EFD. I think I know where you can get one. Like, me or Leon on his Me. new website. New website. That's right. So after years of going through WordPress websites and and all the lag and everything, I was like, "What is going?" And and the thing is, this past two weeks, multiple people have reached out to me like, "Hey, I don't know if you noticed, but your website is down." And I, and I go and look, I'm like, yo, my website is really down. And I had to contact my website guy. So we finally pulled the trigger. They had just been doing the back end work and they didn't want to just switch it over. And even after they switched over, they, there was still like a lot of things that to clean up in terms of like all the uh, like code language that just doesn't, doesn't flow directly over from WordPress to Shopify. So after that, we, we did that and now it looks better. It looks, it's a lot faster. Things come up a lot better. So uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how you like it and if you can purchase things on there. But if there's anything that you see that I don't know, I will appreciate you uh, sending me a message and letting me know what's going on. Thank you so much. And I went to your website and it's way faster. It <laughs> used to be slow. And yeah. no, it, it looks better. It runs a lot faster. Uh, and like I said the other day to you, <clears throat> like you go on and you see all the product, but there's not, there should be a separate menu item for the cuff, for the EFD. We or, added that. I think you got a separate one for you, Tactic, but yeah. I mean, they all show up combined on the first yeah. page anyhow, but you, so, you know, so if we, you know we have started adding like for, uh, separators for each of the series. And yeah. then also now for Eutectic, I, I told my guys to add a separator for the Trinities and for the EFDs because there's a lot of variations for each one, you know? Oh, so yeah, yeah. Definitely want people to be able to see it without 
it being so like, oh my God, which one am I looking at? You know? So yeah. yeah. And Shopify, uh, which is what my website is on too. Correct. Uh, they give you, you can do a lot of things as the, as the owner of the site, you can go, if you've got, you know, this with uh, black blades, you could have a whole subset. I mean, so you can go, you can choose that and you could drop down. Oh, I want the black bladed one. It'll show, you can put a bunch of versions on the same listing and then they can just drop down the box and they can choose what they okay. want, which variant, you know. Nice. So you can do that on your site and you could do a lot of different things. I don't do that because I, I, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I used knives right. or pre-owned knives. So <clears throat> nothing's the same. I don't have mm. five or 10 of any one thing. I only got one of, of this, that, and the right, other. So right, right, right. It's a one-off. So I don't do the variation. I don't do, you know, oh, I got five in stock or anything. That I mean, so that's all irrelevant to me, but it would right. be very relevant oh, yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all that stuff I got to figure out and I'll probably give your friend a, a, a holler to help me figure that out better. And even, even other things that I hear Shopify can do, I definitely want to start rolling that out and, and testing it and see how I can, you know, how I can make it work better for me and my, and the people who support me. Yeah. Yeah. You could contact Donna, you know, like I yeah. gave you her contacts. She's, she can do all that. Right. So, yeah. Right, right, right. Um, so, I mean, I just paid her a one shot fee to set it up. And then I really haven't paid her hardly anything since, but I'll still email her and say, okay, I want this changed and I want you to change the pictures of the knives on the front of the website or do this or right. put, put a scrolling thing up here when I'm out of town or, and she'll right. do that. And, I can't remember. She had, charges me almost nothing to do little bits and pieces here and there. So, yeah. That's because you're rich, Lee, you know. You know <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I sell most of my knives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I've really been on a tear recently. Well, I'm trying to get money together for Atlanta. I mean, you never know. Yo, what that's, the, that's what we're all here for. Oh, God. Right? Uh, that's what we're be, here for. Yeah. I mean, that's really the crescendo of the year. That's, that's the Olympics. That's the that's, Olympics, buddy. Yeah. Atlanta, it's going to be, yeah, and I'm going to get some help with Sean to do some camera work and this and that. And I thought I mean, Sean was going to help me. Oh, well, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> he charges too much. No, no, I just have Roseanne help me. Okay, I just have Roseanne. There you go. Well, she's she's gonna be there, and you know, I'm gonna be. I I think I'm getting a badge from QSP, so that's nice. So I don't have to stand in line and wait for my ticket. Ah, two hours later, I'm still shuffling forward in line. You know, you now, know what? I want to give it up to the people who stand outside all uh, night, all uh, night. And then be like the first to line For up the in the hallway. Bird. And I'm just like amazed at the dedication. I I I get up to you guys and gals who are so dedicated to the show. And anybody who is a customer who they buy stuff from, they should appreciate the type of dedication these these people display. Yeah, Certainly. and you know, there's yeah. like Winter Blade Company or even Strider if he's got some new stuff or whoever. I mean, there's, yeah. you know, you want you want to, what's the Rosie, the Roosevelt, Roosevelt, the what's, uh, you know, the knife that's everybody wants. And then uh, even like Holt uh, knives, they their stuff. And then, of course, the OTF guys, the... Gavin, the Hawk, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, they will pour in to get yep. to those tables. And yep, that yep, stuff yep. is not inexpensive, but it's limited. And so there yep. they are. Yeah, that's yeah. great. 
Hats. Awesome. We got hats. You want a trucker style? You want the regular style hat? American flag on the back. These are embroidered, by the way. You can see where underneath. Yeah, they're embroidered. So, I mean, it looks like a patch, and it's, like here's the patch, right? It looks you know, it looks really snazzy, my friend. I mean, but this is all embroidered, okay? So, and this has got a little red thing to the hat. So, I've only sold two of them. I got 150 of them. And you can get trucker style because I, I put it on Instagram back, you know, a couple months ago. And, you know, there were some guys going trucker because uh, they, they're ventilated better, hot weather, blah, 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 blah. And so... And then a lot of them go, no, no, no. And then my wife was like, nah, I don't like trucker hats. Well, I've got some, but um, <clears throat> so, and now I got a bunch, but I got 75 of the trucker, 75 of these. So um, I've got either, and I'm still waiting for my hat boxes to arrive because I'm not gonna ship them in an envelope, of course. So, they should be in an envelope. They should be here in on Tuesday. Oh well, you you crush this crown or whatever, oh, okay, and okay, they okay. ain't gonna be happy. Uh, um, so don't do, now, that, don't do that. I I got some. I think they're eight by six by three or four. You okay. know boxes. So you put them in there, and they're not very. They're not weight wise. They're not very heavy with the hat only in it. So they'll ship. And the same as if I put them in a padded envelope, be the same price, but okay. so, but at least it'll protect them, you know. Oh, so, that's a good looking hat, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I like this. I mean, what would have been a little coup de gras was putting love them knives back here, I guess, but yeah, whatever. We're good. We're good. You got to, you know what? You get to imagine the whole thing before you even get the bait, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm going to I'm going to have them to where let me see if I can grab this. I'm going to have them to where you can just buy them for like $19 a piece and I mean just try desperately keep it under 20. But these things cost me 12 to 13 a piece my cost and then shipping it's going to be at least another 5 to 6. So it's going to be just break even. And that's okay. I mean, I just want to get them. I just want to get my brand out there. This is right. not a money maker. This is not something I put on my website to make money right. on. No, right, no. Right, right. But, and then, but since these swag packs go for like $12 with the, with the patch, that's a Velcro and a glow in the dark and all that kind of stuff. And then the channel sticker and all that. And the koozie, of course, which really works well, and it's got a bottom sewn into it. Have you noticed? This one's upside down. <laughs> Did you notice that? That was interesting. And I went, holy shit. I went through all the rest of my koozies. That was the only one the that only was upside one. down. Okay. And they sent it to you. <laughs> that was the only one that was upside down. And I freaked out. I'm going, wow, I cannot believe it. But whoever won this month's thing, you get an upside down. I'm going to send you the reject. <laughs> or if you get really drunk, you gotta give me my beer. And then it's hey, right hey, 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 what, You're good. When they're drinking their beer, they're looking at your, 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 your batch uh, the correct way, you know? Now, I'll give you a right side up one. I'll keep <laughs> this as my funky, funky for out on the lanai. But I'm... Um, <laughs> but... The swag pack, I, I have it listed on my website for 12 bucks. Okay. Because okay. it cost me five bucks to ship. So, you know, this the koozie is a buck fifty, the patch is a buck fifty, there's three, blah, 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 plus shipping, shipping. whatever. Shipping is but up there, people. Since I'm doing the shipping, I could put this in the hat, you know, in the hat box like that. And then so 19 bucks instead of twelve dollars, so like thirty one dollars. It's 25 if you want to get both. Okay, 25, and I'll ship both to you in the hat box. So you can do that. Winner. Winner a giveaway. 
okay? And Ooh. his name is his name is Good Luck to Everyone. I that's a really odd name. His name is Kelly O'Neill. Oh yeah, that's it. Kelly O'Neill. So Kelly, I'm not gonna go through all your prizes because uh, I did it on the last one, and we I just got them all awesome. back in the box now. Okay, there's the little folding knife. Here's the titanium chopsticks. You get a eutectic trinity. And that was the last um, prize. And when you contact me, you know, let me know, do you want this color? Do you want the green G10 or what do you want? And uh, then the Gober. Ooh. The Gober. And this is that, that denim roll, multi-knife holding denim roll. And then this is the one with the really nice hank in it from Wee Knives and some stickers and all that kind of stuff. Plus a really nice PVC patch from oh, uh, from Wee Knife and Civivi with Velcro on the back and all that. And some extra, a bunch of stickers. And the Wubin little set where it's uh, a pen and a knife with little refills and a lanyard and all that. So that's all in that gift pack. So that, Mr. O'Neill, and I'll get you a right size up koozie too. But uh, <laughs> Kelly, Kelly O'Neill, you're the winner. And at least the winner from the last couple of times is, has actually checked in and, and you know, if, if not, claim the price. next week's winner is going to score a major, a major So, next deal. week's winner, guess what? Yeah, you're getting the same damn thing. No, no, no. <laughs> but it probably won't be next week the way we've been running. I mean, this has been three weeks since our last Listen, pod, we so. need to be more dedicated to this, okay? I, I'm so, willing to put in the hours, man. Put in the hours. This is your new prize package. This thing is loaded. It's overflowing with incredible prizes. So, have you ever dreamed about having a Wii slash Civivi cup, insulated cup with a lanyard? So you got that at the rock concert, and you're afraid you're going to spill your beer? Hell no, you ain't going to, because you know what? You got you, you can wrap it around your wrist. Dreams do come true. Close it up, and... Uh, now, if it was a 32 ounce, it'd be even better, but okay. And you get, I mean, the main prize, of course, is the we're doing a eutectic trinity again. So, you know, you well, can choose your stuff. Okay? Choose the color you want. Color. Yeah. And then we knives, brand new deck of cards. I haven't stacked them yet. Or anything like that but these are really colorful really nice this would be fun to just put up you know just put a the hand like up on a display thing and show them these are really colorful they're really nicely done it's really interesting um and then we got the the kershaw method and if you want to look it up look it up i ain't pulling it out of the box to hell with you oh by the way but i will do this this is Oh, by which is gone. Oh, by the way, we're gone uh, because they're no longer. Oh, they're no longer. Oh, by because oh, light shut them down. I don't know if they're going to incorporate them or what, but oh, by is no more. But this is there anything else left? No, okay. This was interesting because this, I think, yeah, this is a whistle. <laughs> Okay, so it's a whistle, too. You can see that it's a whistle, right? But also, this is a, a knife. Wow. Yeah, that's magnetized. 84 Rockwell. Do you, can you believe that? That is. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I uh, always and, want a, a knife with a whistle on it. Why oh, did I then, come up with that? Uh, so that knife is on that side. This, the hook that's the oh. seatbelt cutter plus screwdriver is on this side plus uh does that lock in place gotta hope not 
or if it does, I don't. Oh, yeah, it does. It's got a little, little lock bar right there, huh? Okay, is that it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, Man, that's yeah. interesting. Okay, so it does. Okay, yeah, because there's a lock bar on this side too. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Duh. The engineering and involved on the end. It's a glass breaker, right? Impact oh my God. tool. I and need, I need that in my life. And here. It's a measuring. Oh my God. So measuring tape, hook, uh, knife. These are all lock bladed, uh, knockout. This for the lanyard, whistle. Hold it, hold it. I think, I think you can open your beer with the, with the, with the whistle too. Maybe. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> so that is in this package. And there's more. Okay, this, 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 okay, all that. Plus, oh, plus, yep, another wow, knife no holder. Problem. Okay, so zip, zip, grab it like that. That looks and good. That's what I'm going to bring my knives in when I go to Atlanta. I mean, because I'm just going to bring how, how, carry how many knives. of those do you have? Like, like 50? Uh, I've got uh, probably about eight left now. Yeah. And then lanyard with lanyard bead from Civivi. Okay. So nice. you got that. And for you manly men, and this is a 2XL. If you want a smaller size, I'm not sure if I got one. But if you're not a 2XL and you win, then uh, find hey, a big that, print. That is a China a 2XL. Print. It's probably a large or something. Check your wife. See if she's a 2XL. I mean, you know, if you're a medium or. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. 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 Oh, who's up. going on top? Oh, oh. Beat her up, beat her up, whatever. Okay, there you go. So there's your prize package. Like I said, oh, I can't oh, get them all in here. It's so good. I want it's that so prize package. That's it. It's all, I'm going to drive over to your house. So all you got to do is subscribe and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Time to both of our okay. channels and um, leave a comment. You gotta leave a comment, that's how we pick them. So leave that's a right. comment in his copy of our podcast and in my copy of the podcast, okay? I know you and, guys have to do double the work, yes. And we can choose the winner out of your comment, guys, yeah. or mine, I don't care. All right. Um, so there you go, and maybe in a future, We'll do a LTK hat as part of the prize package. That'd be oh my cool. God. I'm going to bring oh some God. to Atlanta. And if you guys are coming to Atlanta, let me know. And I'll just charge you instead of 19, 20 bucks, because I don't have to pay shipping. I'll just sell it to you for 14 bucks, whatever, you know, or $12 and a beer. $12 oh. and a beer. Oh. Oh, you might sell oh. them for the 14 bucks <laughs> just, and no just beer. Bring me a case of Coors Light, all right? And make sure it's cold. You bring me a case, I'll give you a hat. That's for sure. No problem. Um, oh. And you know what? I'm driving up. Uh, I said, screw flying and stuff. I'm going to drive up to Atlanta this time. And so we're driving up, <laughs> driving back. So um, why it's not? What it's going to be, eight? Hour drive? Eight hours, eight my friend. Hour. Eight hours. Yeah, okay. You've driven it before. You're are you yeah. driving it or are you flying? I am driving. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee before I start. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee in my <laughs> on the way up. Well, have you got anybody coming with you? I mean, I think you did last time, didn't you? Uh no, because usually my car is all packed and everything. Ah. So uh but we'll see. We'll see. I may have I someone mean, you know, coming back with me, but not on the way up with me. So, well, yeah. I mean, you got room in that. It's a Highlander, right? Toyota. Correct. Correct. And that is that's a slick looking. How? What year is that? Twenty three. Twenty two. 
22. 22. Mine's a yeah. 22 as well. My yeah. Kia Sorento. And I love my Sorento. It's yeah, big right. enough. Yeah. I mean, it's got that. I didn't plan on it. I didn't order it. I just got it off the lot and there wasn't much on the lot, but it had the panoramic roof, yep. which we never use. I Captain never use the second in Florida. Row. Who opens the sunroof, right? <laughs> but I mean, see, I, I didn't ever have a car with all the shit like lane right. departure warning and adaptive cruise control and all yeah. that. And that is so, and the backup camera and all that shit is so great. It's so yeah. helpful. Yeah. It really is. And it'll steer the car for you in yep. the lane, too. That's when why, you get that's up why on I the love issue. my vehicle. I love the adaptive oh, cruise. So from like here, I cut across and I go up like uh, whatever that road is. But from here all the way to Atlanta, there's like almost nobody. There might be like a dozen cars, okay? But then once you hit Atlanta, it's like, Oh my God! Where the hell did all these cars come out from? It's oh like really? Walmart. What road? Are you? I'm taking 75, right? That's what I'm taking. 75 is usually pretty, pretty. Well, it's not bad in Southern Georgia. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, it's you not, start coming up that on that. Oh, shit! Yeah. There's shit. like maybe a dozen cars around me. Mm -hmm. You know, but once you go into Atlanta, oh my God, jeez. And it's full. Full on race yep. style yep. driving. It really is. I mean, they're going what, 80 miles an hour or something? Here, hold on. Like 80 miles an hour, something like that. 100 maybe? What light you got on that? Until this. Until it's uh -huh. like, yeah, exactly. sir, that. sir yeah. can you pull over? <laughs> sir, have you been drinking Coors Light? <laughs> yeah, I figured not, you had. Not you, Lee. You didn't do that. <laughs> no way. I'll bring this with me in case I get into heavy traffic in Atlanta. They'll all be pulling <laughs> off like, oh, God, we must have a an undercover uh, car behind us. They got the lights. Oh, my God. Don't, don't, don't get pulled over with that. Oh, they are not friendly about that either. Oh, no, my are. God. Yeah. No, this is my new... IF24 by Sofern is so cool. Like it comes out the front, okay? So you can go like 2000 lumens and strobe and SOS and all that kind of stuff, beacon. But then it's a rotation slip, uh, uh, switch. And there you go. And so this will go, you push it and hold and it'll morph into different colors, right? Wow. But if you don't want to do that, then double tap. And it'll flash at whatever color you ended up at, you know, and then double tap. You got the cop double tap. Is this cool? Double tap. Oh, this is blue, but it morphs. It morphs. You can tell. Okay. And then double tap. Oh, yeah. We don't leave it. We don't leave it on the police setting. Or <laughs> double tap. Raindrops are falling on my head. Oh, and then my God. Yeah. There you go. And then if you want, uh, oh, there, then you get uh, a full flashlight where you can dim it so it'll step up brightness levels. Oh, wow. But it'll go turbo, but then you can go strobe and all that shit with beacon SOS, but it's a bar light, right? Like Is that, there like right? a magnet on the other side? There is a magnet here, okay? There's no so magnet there's... on the part that... <laughs> that was a fail. Oh, okay. <clears throat> No, there's no magnet on the other part. It's just okay. magnet here. But then you can just stick it on whatever. Nice. And uh, that's cool. And then pocket clip, or you could take it off. Comes with a little lanyard or whatever. The IF-24... It's going to be on my channel soon, and it's on uh, Amazon, and I think it's like a 10%, I mean, 20% off or something, so it's going to be like 40 something dollars. Wow. Take it take it home for 40 bucks, and it gives you the USB-C charging cable and everything. This is, this is the bananas crazy, or I didn't show this to you, did I? What? Check this out. Wuben. 
Where's my phone? Okay. Just throw it on the back of your phone and it sticks. Oh my God, it's like a magnet. Oh my God. And then what happens? Push it in and it lights up. But oh. you don't like the, oh, that's the neutral light, but you want it to be cool. You want it to be warm. You want it back to neutral and or it gets and brighter. And it gets oh dimmer. God. Okay. Then, by the way, yeah, you can keep your eyeshadow in here. Um, it's a compact. <laughs> oh, oh, my mirror's gone. Oh no, it's like that. But okay, so you can you can do this, but you get this. Now check this out. What is going on? Oh, by the way, at the base, it's like springy thingy, right? So you oh, can, you can clamp clip it to on like your laptop or something. Yeah, and then, like that. yeah, you can just clamp it. Oh, and then. It hangs to your phone, so now Ooh, that's a strong ass magnet. Holy yeah, shit. and then you can put which one is it that goes on here? Ah, so like you this. can use this as like so a you light, can turn when this you're doing on. like a like a live stream or something. Yeah, so I can ain't I pretty? Look at me. So I can light myself up if I'm walking down in the dark and I want to do a a video. Or take yeah, a selfie totally. or whatever, right? Yo, I, I need me one of those, bro. Oh, my God. And they're only $45 on Kickstarter. Kickstarter, Wuben. And it's the E1. Yeah. E even though mine says G4, but I think the G4, it's, uh, it's confusing, and I'll get clarification on that. But they make this in a mag magnesium case or whatever this is so it's a cheaper metal right but then right. they have them in titanium as well wow Holy and different God. colors so i mean you can open it up you can i mean that's a a lot of swing away but look at this and look at this okay so you can articulate this however you want you know i mean nice. you can bend this whole thing around this way, that way. You can swivel it however you want, okay? Like that, and it's got a thing for tripod mount. Oh yeah, for like a selfie stick, yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! Dude, they think, uh, they think of uh, everything now. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that is, like they're crazy shit. That ain't Moving, they always look at this. It holds on so well. You can move this around like that. I mean yeah. that. Uh, that is some shit on there, man. Wow. So, oh well. And then of course you can pick up your light like that. Put it on mm -hmm. here, or just toss your light on the back like that. Right. There it is, and it's on. And you're on, you're famous now. So if you're taking a picture, you know, it's something and you want to light it up, you can do that. Or you can bend it out like this at any angle you want as well, you know? Yeah, I need. Mean, I'm going to buy one of those. those, those oh, they are so like, cool. Come in different yeah. colors. Right. I just, I don't know. And see, when I got this, I'm going, what in the tarnation is this shit, you know? But yeah, it's... Yeah, I mean, it's just weird. And then I was really terrified. There were no instructions with it because it's oh. a pre-production unit. didn't come in a box, no instruction, nothing. So I was going, it looks like this pulls away, but I don't know, and I don't want to destroy anything. And then I saw a little 30-second blurb that Wubin did on YouTube, and I go, oh, and it, or somebody did. And so I, and sure enough, boom, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Wow. So, I mean, that's this, a cool, cool, I mean, little it's light cool shit. And it costs very, very little. But I mean, I think I like flashlights. I think they're way cool and, you know, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. You need to get on Kickstarter and get you on. They got funded in like less than an hour. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Yeah. 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 What cool beans, man.
Ugh. Ugh. Um, allergies. <laughs> Getting allergies. Dude, man, I got I got my butt kicked by something that you know I've been partially sick the whole last week. Oh really? Like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, there's pollen my butt. everywhere. At first, I, got, I thought it was allergies, but then I started getting phlegm and all this other stuff. I was like, oh, no, this is worse than just allergies. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> okay, so uh, you're going to be it uh, in case we don't do it. Well, we we'll, we got to do one before we, we go to We will do one Atlanta. before Blaze Show. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I was just going to say, and when we do our next one, you need to tell everybody what booth number you'll be at. Of course, it's not going right. to be that difficult oh to God. find you. Yeah. But, and then I'm going to be hanging around Leon's booth here and there. I'll be at QSP just doing a video and stuff. I never said I'd volunteer to try. I mean, Dave wouldn't have me anyhow. Dave's like, get out of here, goofball. They're going to, they're going to. They gotta handcuff your ankles to the to the table and not let you move. You gotta be like the explain every knife to everybody. Nah, Dave is really cool, man. Dave is a cool yeah, guy. Yeah, Blade Banner. Uh, he's known as Blade Banner for those of you who don't know. So yeah, check yeah, him yeah. out on Instagram and check yeah. out his YouTube channel. And then he's the QSP guy. And sometimes he'll have like Jody, uh, who is yeah. uh, Jody, Big uh, Red EDC. Uh, right? Big Red EDC. Yeah. So Jody some was there at uh at Blade Texas. Blade Texas. Oh Texas, yeah. And so but I wasn't at Texas. So I think he was at Shot or he was at um West. He was West. at West, right? Yeah, he yeah, was, he West. was there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So I think we've oh, one more thing though. Uh I just got these in the other day, Ganzo. Ganzo oh, nice. knives. This is Doing nine CR fourteen blade steel. You know, usually they've been doing. Yeah, usually they're doing uh, D two, but this is not, but this is an automatic, and it's been a long time since I had my my mitts on a Ganzo automatic. But I love, really, I like the design. Yeah, it's That's really great. Bad. Yeah. It's not bad. Mm, I mean, no. and it's that it probably costs under thirty dollars or whatever. Oh shit! How do they build them for that? Oh, they used to be super cheap, like twenty, twenty-two dollars all the time. And then this is the if you guys can see this is this upside down. We can't see anything. It is upside down though. Oh. I see model, but I can't read the stuff at under at the bottom. Oh, this is the uh, nine twenty five FH nine twenty five right here. Okay, so that's what this is. A little button lock. It's orange. It's just uh, and you can go right hand, left hand with the wire clip. Wire clip. Nice. Whoop. And uh, real fidget friendly. So this is D two, okay. And then this one. I tell by you, the way, I, I have no problems with D two whatsoever. This is there the is six like a little bit of pitting because I I wear my knives in my waistband, but uh, just gotta clean them off, you know. Seven sixty seven is what this is. So check it out. And this one is obviously also. Right hand, left hand. So, I mean, it's been a long time since I've done any Ganzo stuff. I ran into them at shot, and they finally sent me a knife or two. They sent me two knives. They sent me three, and I can't, I don't know where the other one is. It's around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's a fixed blade. Wow. So, yeah. And this one's kind of cool. I kind of like these super inexpensive fixed blades because, yeah, I mean, they're just user users. But, okay, I'm going to do a video on those later. But, yeah, I, I, automatic. Yeah, cool. Sweet. Yeah. All right. I mean, 
that's about all I know about. I already showed my real steel stuff, right? The yeah. self, S-Y-L-P-H, with kind of an integral backspacer. That, that, is, uh, is, a, that is a folded over steel. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And they've done some others that way. And then OSTAP L right. with this one. Okay. And this uh, is... The Perix, P E R I X. And it comes in different colors as well, but it's a crossbar lock type and very, you know, fidget friendly as well. Right. And a reasonably decent sized knife. That's, I, I like the knife and slim, you know. And he's got the, this the, on the, it too, the folded over steel. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, what were you uh, saying? Who, who did that before? Like uh, the photo over still is like Senra and Moo, right? Senra and Moo does that a lot. Probably. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? This is Senra and Moo. Right. Real steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave, yeah. Cool stuff, man. Yeah. Cool stuff. So what were you going to say about your knife? I said, like, I like slim knives, like the one that you had. So I pointed to this one. Oh, yeah. This one, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't take up a lot of pocket realty. You know, you can carry it all day. I like slim knives. Yeah. Oh, is that a real steel knife you were showing me too? No, this is my <laughs> Apple one. I know. It, it's a few dollars more than the real steel one, you know. <laughs> uh, Lord Almighty. Hey, you showed me a picture of a Leon Ma hat. Yes, I did. Do you have hats or just that one or two that were made so, up? So, uh, one of my friends, uh, Joe Ruffalo, uh, he lives here in Melbourne. He got them done, but he only has about like 15 or 16 of them, and he's going to oh. bring them with him to Blaze Show. Oh, and, okay. and we're going to try to see, like, uh, maybe if you like uh, buy a knife and get one, or if you have like, uh, like do something and then you get one, something like that. Something yeah, like figure out we can have, have fun a promotion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You know? Okay, cool. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah. These are still available on White Mountain Knives, so they're the exclusive. So the uh yeah, the result, the result is available. I'll tell you what, this button lock just like the ever energizer bunny, it just yeah. is smooth, it doesn't hang up. Finger flickable. Yep. God dang. Oh, okay. I wasn't in the groove. But yeah, finger flickable, all that kind of stuff. So, and yeah, four and a half ounces. Not a super lightweight, but definitely carryable at that. So, definitely yeah. Right um, yeah. Good stuff, my friend. Good stuff. So, just to reiterate, leave a comment on. Lee's video and my video for the giveaway. And if you do not, I will be getting all the giveaways from Lee's house. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and also please subscribe and like and comment. And thank you for watching. We hope we add it to your hour. Yeah. At least an hour. And Maybe after edit, it won't be so long, but. And then. Hopefully, we'll see some of you at Blaze Show. Yeah. And if you have time, check out my new website. It's still the same old link, leonma.com. If you cannot find something or something doesn't work, please let me know since this is brand new to me, too. And I appreciate all your help. Thank you. Yes, yes. And I'll be at Blade Show. I'm going to bring some of these PVC patches and some hats yep. and whatever other little stuff I can bring and yep. fit it in my backpack. But yeah, that that'd be wonderful if you guys come up, say hi, this and that. Then I'll let you give me your credit card number so I can use it at the pit to drink. <laughs> They'll just go <laughs> buy your case of course light. It's cheaper oh, that go. way. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Ah, okay. All right guys. Have a great night. Thank you. All right. Thank you as well. We'll see you yeah. on the next podcast. See you on the next one. Stay sharp.